Hi everyone and welcome to Chem 3A. I'll be your instructor this semester. My name is Seth Yates. Um, I'm really sorry I couldn't be there today um, to greet you all in person. A close friend of mine passed away and I have to take part in his funeral today, unfortunately. So um, fortunately though, Dr. Prosepius has agreed to um, host my class for me for this first day. So thank you, Dr. Prosepius. And um, I just want to record this video to, to get some stuff, um, submit, pass along some information, and um, make sure we're getting off on the right foot. So the first thing is, um, this should be going around. This is an attendance sheet. So just make sure you check off if you're here or not. And um, that should include everyone who's enrolled in the class. And then down at the bottom, there should be um, people who are in the wait list, on the wait list as well. So you can go ahead and, and check that off. Um, on that note, for ads, this semester we actually have a lot of open spots in other Chemistry 3A classes. So if you're the first couple on the wait list, um, you're welcome to try to get in the class. Maybe there's a no-show today or something like that, and I can add you. Um, otherwise, if you're, if you're far on the back of the wait list or if you're not actually enrolled in the class, you probably need to go get into one of those other Chem 3A classes. Um, so do go ahead and, and be planning on that. Um, if you, if you have a special reason you want to talk to me about or something like that, that's totally fine. You can email me and um, send me along that information. Uh, hopefully, Dr. Chrysippus wrote my email address on the board. It's seth.yates at fresnocitycollege.edu. Seth.yates at fresnocitycollege.edu. Um, okay, what's next? So, and any other questions, actually, that's the same answer. So, any questions you have right now, um, email me at seth.yates at fresnocitycollege.edu. Um, or just wait till Wednesday. I'll be there in lab on Wednesday um, morning and lab on Wednesday afternoon, as well as um, in lecture on Wednesday in the middle of the day. So you can just hold those questions about the syllabus or something like that till Wednesday if they're not super pressing. Um, or you can send them to me by, by email right away. Um, next up, okay, so here's the deal. Chemistry is really tough for a lot of people. Um, so I want to just address that right, right away, is that um, it, it, it's tough. So I, I don't want to um, lie to you at all about that. It's really tough. But so there's, there's known ways to attack a class. We, it's been studied and researched, and um, it, it's hard work for one, but there's also certain strategies that will apply to try to be successful at a chemistry class. And um, I'm going to try to share all of those with you um, that's sort of how the whole class is organized. I think you've already heard, heard me mention about study groups on, on Canvas. Um, so I'll start introducing you to that, some today, some right now, and some on Wednesday. And I, I'm, I'm certain most of you, if you're willing to put in the work, I'll, I can show you how to be successful. If you're willing to put in the time it takes, the hard work that it takes to be successful in this class. So, so just know that. Like we, we can totally do this. It is a hard class. Lots of people do struggle with chemistry when they first start out with it. Um, but you, you can do it. We can do it together. We'll figure it out, and I'll show you guys how to be successful. All right, so the first thing that I want to do on, on that note is, is we're here in my office, actually, and I want to show you where we're at. So I'm going to actually wander out into the hallway, um, and um, I want to show you where to find me. So if you're on the second floor of the science building, um, and you look around, you'll notice the elevator right over there, right over there. Um, so I'm actually right across from the elevator, cat corner there's the men's restroom, um, and then if you turn around, this is my office right here. So my name is in the window, as well as David Balo, and it actually always stays locked, so you'll have to knock, but just knock. We're in there probably, and you can, can come see me. Um, it is S275. All right, so knock on the door, come hang out with me. My office hours are gonna be most of the day on Tuesdays. So starting at least 10 a.m., but maybe even a little bit before that, and running until at least 2 p.m., but probably we can just hang out until three or, or whenever. Um, so most of the day Tuesday, you can come hang out with me for office hours. So then when you come in, um, when you turn to your, your right right away, um, I'm gonna have snacks. We'll have coffee right here, um, water available, teas and whatnot, and then I'll even add some extra snacks that'll be available. So come to office hours, hang out on Tuesdays. You can hang out as long as you want, have lunch with me as long as you like a cup of noodles. Um, 
or granola bars or whatever else, other snacks I bring. Um, so then um, we've got lots of space available. All this space over here is space that you can sit at and work as well as down here. You can sit at and get work done. I'm actually going to be um, camping out in this area over here this semester, and I'm going to be using uh, this area over here as my desk. But we've got, again, 360 degree view. We've got all of this space available for you to come out and study. So lots of you can hang out in here this semester with me. All right. Um, so what's next on the list to talk about? So you should have gotten um, what I'm calling a quick reference sheet. So the full syllabus is on Canvas, and you can, can download it there if you'd like. Um, this quick reference sheet that you should be getting around now or have already picked up will actually just give you the quick hits of what you need to know that you'll need to be doing every week to be successful in this class. And on the back of it, you should see the schedule for the semester. It should be self-explanatory, I think, but if it's not, um, so I'm, I'm often wrong about those things, about what's self-explanatory and what's not. Um, so if you have questions, bring those questions on Wednesday, or if it's a pressing question, email me. Um, I will be available by email today um, in the afternoon or tomorrow in office hours, um, et cetera. So you can, you can get that question answered sooner if you'd like or wait until lecture or lab on Wednesday. Um, next up, so there's a lot of little things to talk about. Um, usually what you want is something actionable. What do you need to do right now if you haven't done it already? Well, first thing is you need to start to find your textbook. So this is our textbook this semester. Um, this is the second edition, um, but the first edition will work just fine. We don't need the second edition for anything in particular this semester, so feel free to grab the... Um, the first edition if you want. And I provided a link to that actually in the quiz. So if you already took the first quiz, which most of you did, you should have had a link directly to that information. Um, okay, so what next? Uh, the quiz. So you should have already, most of you, like I said, already went on Canvas and took the quiz. So this is, is not information that most of you need. Um, but for those of you who haven't taken the quiz yet, I, I will actually open it back up so that you can do it anytime by Tuesday night. So if you haven't taken the quiz yet, get back on Canvas, um, take it before Tuesday night. It'll take you all of about two minutes to complete. So um, that's just sort of a way to get you in the swing of things because we'll be having um, pre-lecture or pre-lab quizzes due each week um, on every Sunday night. So I just wanted to kind of start off the class with you guys seeing how that's going to go. Um, and that actually goes along with our, our reading each week so that you're, you're doing, that's one of the things that it takes to be successful. Know what's coming up in lecture before you get to lecture each week. So if you can do that, um, then that will, will I think, be a, a really advantageous thing. And that's what those quizzes are about. They're, they're not intended to be very difficult. They just kind of go along with the reading to keep you honest that you are sort of preparing for class each week before you come. All right, next up, let's see. Um, what do you need for Wednesday? So what do you need to do between now and Wednesday? Actually, not much. Just basically get that textbook um, on the mail, in the mail or, or go grab it from the bookstore or whatever you're going to do. Um, I actually have pretty much everything else you'll need for Wednesday already printed out. We're going to do worksheets in lab on Wednesday, and I've already got those printed up for you. So mostly you just need to make sure and um, get the book, start reading it if you can, and come Wednesday, and we'll be totally fine. Next up after that, let's see. Um, study groups. So um, I, this is already probably the third or fourth time you've heard me mention it. So obviously it's a big deal in this class. Um, so that's actually, as soon as I finish this video, what I want you guys to do is um, go find your study group. So Dr. Corsepius will have the information for who's in what study group. So he'll share that with you. And um, just make sure you, you go around the, the room and find each other. So what I recommend is that when he tells you what study group you're in, just grab any old scrap of paper and write a big two on it if you're in study group two or write a big five on it if you're in study group five and hold it up in the air and all the fives go find each other and all the twos go find each other, et cetera. Um, when you do find each other, what you're gonna get handed out is a packet that looks like this. And really all you need today 
is to do two things, elect a group coordinator and get everybody's name, phone number, and email address. That's it. So um, you'll find each other, elect a group coordinator, and the group coordinator will get this packet and collect everybody's um, contact information. So how do study groups work? I'll leave most of that for Wednesday when I'm actually there and we'll actually start doing work together as study groups. But um, you do need to know what the group coordinator's job is so that you can effectively select a group coordinator. So the group coordinator's job is to coordinate. So what they'll do is the group coordinator will basically just get a binder like this. They'll take that packet and they'll put it in the binder. And then each week when you have a different worksheet, they'll assign problems from this worksheet um, to each of you. And, and for those specific problems, you individually are required to do that whole worksheet. But for those specific problems, um, you'll share your answers and how you solve that with the group. And I have a special form, special way to go about doing that. Um, and that way, you're actually sort of helping each other get through these worksheets, helping each other learn. And um, even if you don't think you need help, you'll get to see a little bit about how someone else solved the problem. So if your problem solving process is a little different than theirs, you'll actually get some tips on that. Um, also, the process of sharing that is really helpful in cementing that knowledge in your head. So it's just a way that, that's a good way that we can collaborate together. Um, you don't have to ever meet together as a study group, but if you do, that will be part of the extra credit um, assignments for the class. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So the main job of the group coordinator is just be organized. Get your group coordinator packet, put it in a binder. Um, then as you collect those homework assignments from different people, um, get little tabs and tag like uh, worksheet one. And then all of the assignments that came in from worksheet one will be in that section. And then worksheet two, et cetera. So, um, the group coordinator doesn't have to do their own problems and share them with the group. They just have to help um, collect that information from everyone else and keep it organized. All right, so I think that's all the information that I wanted to share with you right, right now. So um, from here, I think the next step is just literally go find your study group. So I look forward to a good semester working with all of you and um, look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Have a good week.